Oh, hey guys, it's Danny here today, bringing you like, a lovely video. And today's video, we're going to take a look at how to solve the integral of secant x dx. Before we jump into it, I want you like, to leave a like and subscribe, and let's get right into it then. So, the way we do this is we have to use a special technique called the u substitution from calculus. And we are going to basically try to rewrite this integral as shown on your screen before you. And you might be wondering, why is this basically rewritten in this format and the reason for it is we need to choose a u variable that render this solvable and we must introduce something to secant x dx to render that solvable and the way we do it is we introduce basically a fraction which is basically equal to one of secant x plus tan of x in the numerator and denominator respectively and this secant x plus tan of x is gonna be your u variable so let's basically take this u variable and I just want to know, sh show you like one more time that this is basically equal to 1. It's like me writing x divided by x. x divided by x is equal to 1. It's, it's The variable is the same in the numerator and denominator. So it's equal to 1. So we are allowed to add this to the integral. Very important. So we're going to set u to be equal to secant x plus tan of x. We are then going to take the derivative on both sides of this equation. On the left hand side you are going to have du and then on the right hand side you're going to have secant of x tan of x which is basically the derivative of secant x and then tan of x derivative of that is secant squared of x dx. We are going to rewrite it in terms of dx and, and when we do that we're going to have this. We are then going to replace this dx term inside the integral right over here so let's rewrite the integral once more we are then going to see if we can simplify anything and notice we have a secant x being multiplied to a numerator so we're going to distribute this secant x using the foil technique very important so we're going to rewrite it so this numerator is going to become this once the secant x has been multiplied in and from here we can cross out a lovely term basically secant x secant squared of x plus secant x tan x is going to cancel out in the numerator and the denominator respectively. So that's a lovely cancelling out which is going to be taking place and what you are going to have is the integral of 1 divided by secant x plus tan of x du. And this here is our u term basically. That's what we said before. So therefore we can basically replace this with u and you have basically the integral of 1 divided by u du. When you take this integral, what you are going to be left with is basically ln of absolute value of u plus c, plus the additional constant term, which is important to add in. We are then going to, last step is basically to replace the u variable with secant x, tan of x, as shown. And that's your answer. And that's how you solve the integral of secant x dx. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you later.